Hello everybody. It's been a minute, but I'm glad to be here. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time here, my name is Cheryl. Welcome. <clears throat> Today I have, um, I thought I'd come on and do a short video on one of my Etsy shares. Um, my good friend Celeste at Woodland Inspired and um, it's just beautiful and I just wanted to show it off. <laughs> um, I'm doing okay. I'm working on a little um, craft. Um, well, two actually, but um, one specifically. I'm sorry about that. Um, and um, it's still slow going, but I'm glad to be here. And I hope that you are too. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I had ordered some things from Celeste and received them probably a month ago. And um, I'm just, I haven't been doing videos. Um, so, anyway, um, let me get started. Um, I already did a video, but it came out horrible. And um, I deleted it. <laughs> It was just, I was all over the place because I hadn't opened it. And um, when I did open it, I was so surprised by everything that I, I just, it, yeah, I kept going on and on and on about each and every little thing. So anyway, let me start with um, my, my little thank you. Um, she always sends a sweet thank you and um, she goes above and beyond, but I mean, these things are so beautiful and I really hope that you'll stay till the end because one of the things that um, that she wrapped something that I purchased um, with I've already used <laughs> I used it as soon as I turned off the video anyway and I'll show it to you but anyway um, she gifted me these beautiful um, hearts that I've already put in this little plastic bag and put away, but um, I'll show them to you. She had everything packaged just so beautifully, and um, but these I, I put in this little baggie because I put them with my other quilted hearts, and so anyway, look at that. Aren't they beautiful? And I know exactly what I'm going to do with them after I hoard them and look at them and feel them for a while. <laughs> so that's what I do. <laughs> so anyway, um, those are them. She, it's just a lovely gift. Thank you so much, Celeste. This is Celeste at Woodland Inspired. I highly recommend that you visit her shop. I actually forgot an, uh, to place an order <laughs> and I opened this one and she had sent what I need to order <laughs> in a happy mail. So I'll show you that in a moment. But look at these stamps. You're going to die. These are embossed postage stamps on 45 pound tracing paper. Are they not? I don't even know if it's showing up in the camera. It's pretty bright. I even tried to close my blinds enough so that you'll be able to see and they're all different they're not all the same but they are just gorgeous aren't they beautiful oh my gosh celeste i don't think i'll ever be able to use these <laughs> they're beautiful thank you so much definitely a surprise and I'll put those back in there for safekeeping. If I can. My hands are still very shaky. And um, so yeah, there we go. And then this is what I forgot to order is my little envelopes, which I'll be placing that order today, Celeste. But when I opened this, I started laughing and laughing and laughing because you sent me some in the happy mail. But they are so, so, guys, these are the best. I'll show you. She sent me some Christmas ones. But they are so awesome. Aren't these just adorable? 
I'm not going to fold them down because, you know, I'd like to like place them in a, in a, um, you know, I might place them in like this and just put the tag in and just like place it like this. Look at these. Oh, I should, should probably show you this side too. Or I might close it and put a little note in there and stick it in a little pocket. Or you could, you know, decorate something like this. Like make a little cluster of them. Maybe like do this, this. See, I just, I start thinking and I can't stop. So, <laughs> so I'd probably go like this, you know, or something, you know, on a page. Wouldn't that look adorable with some lace or, oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Celeste. So sorry about that, guys. <laughs> anyway, these are the best. I need to order some. And I meant to. So inexpensive and they're perfect. I mean, these aren't easy to make. <laughs> if Italy. I mean, you can make your own, but I'd much prefer to get Celeste. They're really nice and they're nice and heavy and they're just perfect. And she does such a great job. Oh my goodness. There we go. So there's that. And then these, in, you know, she embosses everything in her packaging and I save it. I just did some gold foiling on one of the ones she sent me. I have several. And um, I did some gold foiling on one just to see how it would look and it just came out so gorgeous. So, but these are darling. Oh my goodness. She saves every scrap and she does everything by hand. And oh my goodness. Oops. Look at, look at those little hats. They're silhouettes with little crocheted hats. They are so sweet. I won't pull them all out because I'll just go on and on and tell you what to do with them. <laughs> but. She saves every scrap. I'm not joking. You'll see. If it's here. It is here. I know it's here. Because I didn't put everything away. I just, I put it over to the side and did the envelope. And then when I went to put the video up, I watched it and I was like, mm, no, I'll do it over. <laughs> so, and then she sent me this. It's um, a page out of a Reader's Digest. And she, it looks like she's coffee dyed it or tea dyed it. I'm not sure. It doesn't smell anything. And then, I don't know, it's kind of glossy a little bit. So she may have gone over it with some Mod Podge or some matte medium. And then she embossed it with um, either stencil paste or it could be anything. But, oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. I couldn't believe it when I opened it, Celeste. It was beautiful. I love it. Can you just imagine? Oh my gosh. So I'll be definitely doing some of these. They're beautiful. I just love them. I love the way you did them. Maybe you didn't, did you? I, I can't really tell. It just has such a sheen to it. It looks almost gold. Did you use gold paint? Maybe you used gold watercolor. Heather was doing that today on video. I watched it this morning. This, I thought was wallpaper. Does not, not look like vintage wallpaper. It's not. It's a napkin. But I thought it was vintage wallpaper. I'm like, oh my gosh, some vintage wallpaper. You know, and I was going on and on and on. And then I was like, wait a minute. So I had to try and figure out, is this watercolor? Did she paint that? But it's got such a beautiful texture. It's just gorgeous. And the only way I knew it was a napkin is if you look right up in here, you can see tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of the napkin. 
teensy tiny bit and that's how I knew plus I didn't think that the I didn't think that the wallpaper would have that on the back but oh my god what a good journaling card it's just gorgeous 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 did you stamp this her, everything is just so perfect with with what she with what she does so that's my little happy meal thank you so much Celeste I cried in the video too so I definitely had to I'm very emotional okay so I ordered these these are wallpaper little bags inside a library pocket and she has stitched it I have to see if you sell these in your shop because I don't remember seeing them, but I love that. I absolutely love it. And look at the ribbon. Oh my goodness. And so anyway, here are the little wallpaper pockets that I ordered. And look at the little bow. I mean, everything is just so sweet. And I'll pull out one of the tags for you so you can see in case you want to order some. Here's the tag. And this is the wallpaper. I love them. Oh my goodness, I just love them. And as soon as I opened it, I'm like, okay, have to order some more of those. Aren't they beautiful? They're just so gorgeous. So they went into Horde for a little while. <laughs> I don't know how long, but I just love them. They're beautiful. Thank you, Celeste. Well done. Maybe I I might have already thrown away that package. I'm so sorry. Um, so then this, it said to cut an in, uh, like a quarter of an inch or whatever on the top. And I was like, why? It's beautiful. Oh, why would I do that? I'm not going to do that. So I didn't. <laughs> so she's got some tool here. And I'm like, I didn't order this, but I did order what, what's inside. But I, I didn't cut this off because I just thought it was such a great little wallet for like inside a, a journal. I'm like, no, I'm not cutting it. No. <laughs> I mean, I suppose you could and use it as, you know, a pocket in a tall journal, but oh my gosh, guys, no. See, and it sparkles. It's so pretty. Oh, I must have put them in this one. So hold on. I must have put them all back in here. And the tool, I love tool. I just think tool just goes with everything. And I have so much tool, but every time I see it, it's like even better. <laughs> you know, thank goodness we don't have any craft stores. Oh my gosh, I'd be at them too many times. As you can see, I wasn't feeling well, so I had to shop. So much for all my birthday money, but it was well worth it. There, everything is, all of them are in here. So I'll show you. And no, I didn't cut this one either, it's the last. I just love them. And they're embossed on the edges. Oh my goodness, I just love them. Look at that. Why? Stop. Scam, scam, scam. Okay, so these, look at this packaging. Hold on. She even puts open here. These are patchwork theme journal tabs, set of 21, and they are fabric. And I'm telling you, she throws nothing away and I'll show you, I'll prove it. But they're all different kinds of tabs. I'll only pull out a few. So there's this kind, you know, to put on a page. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And then nice and sturdy. I don't know if it's, um, I forget what you call it. I don't know if she's glued the, glue, sometimes she'll glue it on paper. I did a video once 
um, gluing on paper and putting it through the embossing machine and she taught me that. So I don't know if she's used um, like a an iron-on um, stabilizer or if she's used paper. I don't, I think it's a stabilizer, I'm not sure. But oh my gosh, so cute. And you could use these for anything. You don't even have to use them as tabs. You could use them, you know, in anything. That's what I loved about them. I mean, they're perfect as tabs, but you could use them in a, in a little snippet or, I mean, oh my gosh, when I saw these, I was like, oh, snippet. <laughs> so, but I can use, I can use these as tabs. And look at the packaging, guys. Sorry for the glare, but look at that. That's going to make a beautiful pocket in your journal. But, see? <laughs> Scraps from your die cutting, from die cutting your tabs. <laughs> these were in my Happy Meal. So now I can use these for my little slow stitch. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, I just love them. It reminds me of feed sack. If any of you know what feed sack is, it's um, a very old fabric that they used to use to make dresses and things like that after or during the war. Um, and I'll show you some because there's some in there. I'm saving the best for last. Well, <laughs> that is the best. I don't know what the best is. Okay, I'll do this. Um, she sent a pattern. I only ordered this, but of course she sent a pattern. Beautiful pattern. I don't know what the date is on it. Um, it doesn't matter, but it's going to make a gorgeous cover to a journal. Thank you so much. So pretty. So gorgeous. Thank you. So this she was doing a video on this and I like ran. I, I stopped the video. I went to the shop because I didn't know she was selling them. I, I didn't even, you know, she was just showing, starting to show them. And I just went to her shop <laughs> and she had them. So I ordered them right away because I, I, I knew that they would go. I, I haven't checked her shop. She might have some, but oh my gosh, they're quilt pieces. I'll measure them for you just in case you're interested. 11 by 11. She's been cutting up her quilts. And I'm cutting up quilts. That's what I've been working on. It's not easy. Not easy at all. I mean, I when I saw these, I started piecing them together on the table in the kitchen because my desk isn't big enough. And I thought I could make a gorgeous quilt out of this. I miss quilting. So there's that one. And this one. Aren't they so pretty? And the work that's involved is just, you know, it's just, it's a lot of work, but I love them. And I'm pretty sure it's feed sack. I mean, if this isn't, this and this for sure is. This is. This, this, and this is definitely. This and this and this and this. That, it, I'm, I'm thinking it probably all is. This for sure is feed sack. So you're talking about 50 years maybe. Maybe more. Oh, more than 50. My goodness, more than 50. I'm seven, I'm almost 70, so. I am so fortunate. I can't even tell you. I, I can't get through this without crying because it's just me. So, they're beautiful, Celeste. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll put photos up um, as best I can on Instagram. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, guys, I mean, just one is a cover to a journal or 
I just love them. I could take some apart and use them, you know, in my slow stitch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just gonna take a sip of my coffee. And here's another. Look at, oh my goodness. I love touching them. <laughs> and she has washed and pressed and oh my gosh. So beautiful. There is a video on her doing this. I'll post it below and also link to her shop. And I'll do another video on the two things that I've been working slowly on. <laughs> it's like the never ending quilt. I just don't want to, I, I don't want to touch it. Like I don't, it's gonna get all folded and put in my cabinet. I have a cabinet with quilts and fabrics and things like that in it. And my craft room, I had painted it like a petal pink. And um, it's used to be a jelly um, pie safe. And it's over a hundred years old and it was made with all different woods. Um, and it's really pretty and it's got glass doors. So all my quilts and pieces look really pretty in there. So unfortunately they will get hoarded for a little while, but aren't they so pretty? And they're gonna look so beautiful in my cabinet <laughs> with um, some ribbons around them. I'm gonna do like four pieces at a time and display them. <laughs> it's crazy, I know, but, and then I can see what I have, you know, and I can pull, you know, just one or, you know, depending on the season or whatever, or whatever I'm working on. I am so fortunate because I am taking apart a quilt now and I'm telling you what, it's not easy to be able to get everything so pretty. So then I ordered a book and um, she sent a vellum card, says season's greetings, and she even gave me a doily. I am going to be using this for Journal Celeste. I ordered it for a specific reason, one, because it was a math book and it was old and I loved the cover and I love numbers. So she even gave me a doily that fit perfectly. I don't know though, I don't wanna cover up too much of it. Anyway, this is it. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful, Celeste. It's so beautiful. Look at the papers. Look at those numbers. Oh my goodness, I just am in love. Of course, my husband saw it last night and he said, you're not tearing that apart. I'm like, um, look. A little piece of rice paper in there. And I just love how the person wrote in it. But it's copyright 1893. And it's from Lowell, Mass. I, I come from Cape Cod, Mass. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Look at all these numbers. And the, if the great thing is, is some, some of the problems are already figured out, which is good because I looked at it and I was like, whoa, I would have failed that class. I mean, it's percentages and oh my goodness. It's just amazing. Thank you so much. It's just going to be perfect. And this doily is beautiful. So soft and just so precious. But wouldn't that look nice? Oh. Anyway, all right, I'll stop gushing. And this is vellum. You have to let me know, Celeste, if this is one of your daughter's digitals. Her daughter makes digitals. Isn't that beautiful? That's our vellum. And I love the weight. So you'll have to let me know, Celeste. So I won't 
for you with pigment back in right now. But it will go back in back on my bookshelf. And then this I ordered because, guys, you just, and I was so surprised. Thank you so much, Celeste, for the piano music. You didn't have to do that, but I love it. I have some, but it's a white color. I don't have any right here, but um, I, do, I, do, I have some boxes, but they're, I haven't gone through all the boxes yet. I bought them several years ago and um, from a girl who was selling them for $10, all of them. I think there's, I don't know, maybe 10 piano rolls, but they're white, uh, not white, but they're not this color. They're not the, you know, this reminds me of pattern paper. So that's perfect. Thank you. This was why I went to the shop. Well, I went to the shop for this and then she was, she's selling this, so, and she has sent me this in packages before, and I love this paper. It's computer paper, the old-fashioned computer paper, but look at the colors. They're just, I mean, this paper is perfect for anything. And it came so nicely packaged, everything. Like, all of the quilt pieces were in here. So I'll show you what she did. She wrapped the book up, and I would have just taken the wrapping paper, <laughs> but she wrapped the book up. I just don't want to get this wrinkled. But she wrapped the book in a twelve. Um, I've been slowly, slowly, slowly. This journal has been in the works for months. I would say since I don't even when. I, I don't know when. Probably last year. And um, so I pulled it out because I just, you know, I it just I just thought it would be easy. Um, I pulled out pages from a whole bunch of different things. You know my out of my um ephemera book i have an ephemera book for you know for small pieces and then i have them for you know larger pieces that i didn't use in other journals so this is like a mix of a whole bunch of different digitals but in the back i'm making a folio that sharon hearth had made it goes like this this was the wrapping paper and as soon as i saw it i was like oh my goodness I mean, I would have scared you, but isn't that gorgeous? That is gorgeous wrapping paper. So I went right on, <laughs> I went right on Amazon to see if I could find some toile wrapping paper and they do have it. They don't have this exact. I love this. So this goes, and I had already printed this for the folio, but I hadn't printed a backing for it yet. So look, it's just perfect. And it's going to end up being a folio that Sharon Hearth had made um, a while ago, probably about nine months ago. And um, it holds ephemera. And that's going to go into the back of my journal in here. So someday I'll finish it. But as soon as I saw the wallpaper, I knew right away. So I got out the journal because I keep it in a bag, you know, a snap bag. And I have all the ephemera started, but it's just so many different papers. It's crazy. It's kind of a crazy journal, but I, I love it. I love it. This is a very old doily, and I was afraid that it would get torn, so I glued it to the vellum that was on the front page. I just, you know, very carefully glued it with Fabri-Tac. It's paper. That's why I glued it down. And it fit perfectly except you know it stuck out in the edges and it just would have gotten torn because it's so old so I just this was on the front page anyway so I just wrapped it around so I am working on that I'm working on a couple of other things too but I'll show that in another video so thank you so much Celeste thank you everybody for stopping by 
and um, saying hello and having some coffee with me. And um, yeah, so that is it for today's video. And I will leave the link below to Celeste's YouTube channel and to her website, her um, Etsy shop, where you can shop till your heart's content. And you better hurry because I think she might be coming to Florida for the winter. Her husband's retiring. If that doesn't look like vintage wallpaper, nothing does. So I'll have to try that. But I'll have to go back and see if you did a video on it. This... I'm still not sure. I think it's metallic paint. I can't tell. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because, like I said, Heather from Ruby and Pearl was doing metallic paints this morning on paper. And this has a sheen to it. So I'll have to ask. So that's it for today. And um, I hope you all have a great week. I'll do another video on what I'm working on in the next video. I promise it won't be so long. I really do hope that you continue to stop by as I recover. And um, yeah, I'm doing well. I'm doing really well. So um, yeah, we have some things going on. John's having some surgery. Um, I don't remember when, but he he'll be okay. So yeah. So everybody be happy, be sweet, be kind, and God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye, everybody.